Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jody. I see you found the bedroom. I have found some bedrooms. Yeah, bed so you see the ever brown instead of the evergreen. <laughs> yeah. And if you look a little closer, you can see some of the brown pods that are the bagworm. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little about those? Bagworms are caterpillar pests that feed in many of our different trees and shrubs, and they construct a silk bag out of the materials on hand. They use whatever they can find, so needles, leaves, berries. They glue it together with their silk, makes them masters of camouflage so they can blend in with the plant that they live in. They hatch out in May or June here in Nebraska, and they feed voraciously up until about August or September when they become mature caterpillars in the bag and then pupate. And then they have a very interesting life cycle as adults, right, Jody? Yeah, they do. It's always very interesting to me. So the male bagworms, they pupate in the fall and emerges as a moth with wings, small, furry, has feathery antennae. And the female, unfortunately, never gets wings. She actually pupates into something that looks like a caterpillar, but doesn't ever leave the bag. The male bagworm finds her as a moth through pheromones and mates with her while she's still in the bag. And then he dies. The female then can lay 100 to 300 eggs inside that bag, which overwinter and emerge in the, the late spring the following year, which completes the cycle. But besides from being so interesting, why should Nebraskans care about this crafty caterpillar? Well, they do feed on a lot of the trees and bushes that we grow in our landscapes for ornamental reasons, as well as for windbreaks. They love junipers, they love arborvitae, they love spruce, they love pines, all these different things they can damage. Deciduous trees they'll even feed on. They like locust trees, I've seen them in oaks. And the feeding that they cause can cause this bronzing that we looked at before. It can be very unsightly, but over on successive generations, they can cause enough damage that it could kill the plant. So you do wanna nip them in the bud when you can. And there are lots of different ways to do that, right, Jody? Chemical control for bagworms is early to mid-June while the bags are still small, so about half, less than half an inch long. The best thing to use right now is Bacillus thuringiensis, which is BT, very effective on caterpillars. And if you miss this window in the June month, then you can probably use carbaryl or a pyrethroid such as bifenthrin. You want to make sure that the plant is completely covered so the bagworms that are feeding can acquire a lethal dose. And you want to make sure, because this is an insecticide and risks are always involved, to read and follow the label. If they don't want to use chemicals, Jonathan, what's the best option? Well, so BT is an organic option, but if they didn't want to use any insecticides whatsoever, there are things that you can do where you go out and just to cut the bags that you can see out of the tree. Use a pair of scissors or shears or a good sharp pocket knife to cut them out. The top of the bag can be quite tough. And then once you get them out of the tree, throw them into a garbage bag and put them in the dumpster or throw them in a bucket of soapy water. Just be sure to destroy them somehow. Don't just throw them on the ground. They could hatch out from there and crawl up into the tree and then infest it that way. So always get out there and take those bags out. That'll stop reinfestation. But you do need to keep an eye out because they can balloon in from surrounding areas. So always keep your eyes open on your tree the next spring. Even if you do cut them out, you want to make sure that you monitor that new bagworms aren't popping up in your tree. So whatever you do, don't let your evergreens get half in the bag. <laughs> Always monitor your trees.